Hey guys, me and team here. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Civilization 5. In the last part, we took down a Siamese city completely, which is always nice. In this part, we're going to be moving on with the war. Let's see what that scout does. I doubt he's going to actually go after me with his scout that's almost dead. And I think at this point, I'm going to have to keep pumping out more horsemen. So I will do so. I need to heal them too. Got more coming from the capital. It is a little bit far of a march. But at least there's no distance maintenance penalty any longer. So that much I have going for me. Maybe I'll try and sneak down here with my moves. See if I can pick off another Siamese city. No. No, this time I'm not giving you a pass, dude. This time you are going to suffer a competent attack rather than a less than competent attack as you suffered previously. Um, sure. I am in striking distance here, but I will not get hit by uh, bombardment from the city, so that's a plus. Oh, come on! Apparently I won't get hit by a city, but I'll get hit by something else. Well, I'll take the decisive victory. And yeah, the terrain modifier is just ridiculous. That really needs to be patched on either side. It's just... Uh, come on. It gets a little silly. Cape Town. Oh, now Cape Town hates Copenhagen, too. And Copenhagen wants me to take out Cape Town. But they're both maritime, so that's not ideal. Ow. Well, I might as well kill it, because you know, he is the major defense uh, penalty now instead of me. And... Heal up instantly so you do not just get trashed in two seconds. And I could really use some reinforcements at this point. I mean, I could just build up for a proper war, but that's too much effort. Seriously. Yay, I am now in the medieval era. Which means, uh,. I can go for the commerce tech path as desired. Let's grab engineering. It's hard to go wrong with that. And if he doesn't have heavy reinforcements here, I can put hurting on this city. We will find out. Well, whatever. Next turn. Ah! It's just ridiculous how much damage these things can do. Let's take a worker just to be a jerk and then hide in the grass or shrubs or whatever. Copenhagen has declared war on you. Is that so? You are friends with that douche, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, fine. What do you want for peace? Um. Yeah, let's let's do a ten turn treaty. I at least was able to get some damage in <laughs> and pick up a worker. Nice touch. And I'll have some more horsemen to reinforce uh, eventually. Wow, <laughs> open field just crushing the archer. Yeah, these city-states get pissy at you, even if you didn't really do anything. And you just happen to be on the wrong alliance side. Whatever. I'd say it's reasonable. I mean, that's what allies are, ultimately. And, uh, yeah, I can walk on the same tile. I will do so. Yeah, long swords. 
That's quite a joke. <coughs> really should have hit him sooner, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go back with the worker. Should be done soon there, right? With the culture expansion? Yeah, it'll be on the horse. Very well. Yeah, what's up with that? And I'm just going to behave in a treacherous manner against this guy. Fortify. Now pyramids have gone in a faraway land. One thing I can probably at least do is just uh, massively flank him. But it's going to be hard against longswords because they are significantly stronger than horsemen. I really need a great general or something to give me a boost when it comes to that at this point. Not quite sure how this guy has steel already. Let's have a look at the... Uh, I guess he could have just straight beelined it. That's possible. Either way, I just need to beat him up a little bit and I'll be alright. Civilian was captured. Oh, by... Oh wow, that's quite lame. Well, I captured one too, so what can I say? I no longer need to avoid growth in this city. Golden Age, that's quite useful to me. Yeah, let's get a monument going, get some border expansions in that city. Forgot that I'm still at war with Copenhagen. Well, heck, maybe I need to kill him after all. That's possible. What? I can't... Okay, fine. We'll do it this way. If you completely insist on that, we'll, we'll do it your way. Losing grasp on Geneva. Alright, now let's see if you... Still Siam's ally, so I really don't get any... Benefit from that. Oh, very good. With a great general and just perfect flanking setups, I might be able to do something to these long swords with horsemen. Um, pride with a gift of gold. Yeah, let's do this. Let's keep them. Let's keep them going. Getting a great general is nice and timely. Along with another horseman. Horses, man. Should do well. Choose production. Alright, let's keep banging out the horsies. It's really our only option. I'll ally the other city state that doesn't hate my guts as soon as I can. Ugh, come on. Looks like it might be time for some uh, throwing down before I even get to worry. How far away is the uh, peace treaty? Let's have a look, shall we? Peace treaty, turn 106. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be done at the end of this turn. I'm going to actually back up and declare on him and try to just dominate him in the field. Hopefully this guy can get over in time as well. I'll leave him as a scout. These guys can just stay where they are. T is for cottage or uh, trading post. Uh, 
Either or. Just depends on your game. Okay. I have engineering, so now I can build some lumber mills as needed. Let's get another horseman down here. The city strengths themselves aren't so hot, but the the the, the, the uh, medieval units that's going to cause me some issues probably. It's unfortunate, but what can you do? Anyway, I'm thinking my secondary trait is going to be commerce, so I can just spam. Uh, coastal cities for the production and uh, wage war overseas so we'll see how that works uh, chivalry is definitely where I want to go next just because I want something that can go toe to toe with my opponent without worrying about having to deal with these uh, superior forces so once again let's dance can he hit me there probably not Except for with like horsemen, but whatever. At this point, horsemen are not as. Uh, oh, he had a city there. <laughs> That's smooth. Well, whatever. Uh. We're gonna get some burnination here. Hit and run, hit and run, stick and move. Grenade stick? No. Not not so much on the grenade stick. Come on, let's see what you got. Okay, where's the warrior? Oh, I'll just fortify him there. And boom, I guess. Whatevs. Another policy available to me. I will take this one, which will give me two additional policies. Yes. And commerce. Absolutely. And I'll go with naval tradition and go for mer uh, merchant navy first. So, excellent. Oh, I could almost take the city with this guy, but I don't want to risk his life. Oh, I can, uh, I can get him with this guy, though. Or not. Or I can have the uh, game... Tell me something that's not quite true when it comes to the outcome of the battle. That's possible as well. <sighs> I think it's time to start actually hooking up my cities too. Uh, what's the route to? Shift Control R. And off we go. And yeah, let's screw up the brood a little bit here. Very nice. This city will probably die even if he kills a unit next turn. Although I really don't want him to be killing units. Alright, looks quite good. Let's do the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna move in with this guy. Burned! And now I'm going to fall back. I'll just heal here. And, uh, take an easy victory over yet another barbarian unit with my scout. Absolutely. And I have some great generals to help me out. So slowly but surely, even against a superior tech opponent, it looks like I'm going to be able to come out of this alive somehow. Yeah, I had spices already, didn't I? Yeah, okay, so I did not make a mistake there. Excellent. I can resettle that at a later time for less unhappiness problems. Which is always nice. And I'm really trying to see what he does in terms of his forces. I want to hit him in the open field. But okay, I'm coming up on the time limit, so this war is going to have to be continued in the next video. The Mian team, signing out. See you next time.